dance, music, theater, and art. The Arts Festival of the Pan Am Games will have it all. The full lineup for Panamania was announced today. Yelena Adzik is here with more. So which musicians were announced for this? Oh, there's so many, Andrew. Honestly, I can't even begin to tell you how, how wide-reaching and how much variety there is, but I can share a few of them with you. How about that? Okay, let's start with Lights. Lights is from Timmins, Ontario. Of course, makes her name with those great electro pop and synth sounds. Same goes with Dragonette, and uh, they're going to be there. Also, the Flaming Lips. So it's not just Canadian bands, but also bands from the States and some around the world. Also, Death from Above, 1979. Obviously, the much-hyped band from Toronto and Tanya Tagak will be there as well the Nunavut artist and throat singer so it is a, a phenomenal wide range as I say and it's all happening essentially over uh, the July time period of the games we're talking about 35 days in total and this is an arts and cultural festival that is attached to the Pan Am games so we're talking about July 10th to August 15th essentially a lot of it is free and there are some paid you know ticketed items too but it will be happening all over Toronto but it's important to note here that a lot of the artists, and there are more than 1,200 of them, they are coming from all over the place. And also, a lot of this will be available to people outside of Toronto after they premiere here. And so tell us more about one of the theatrical highlights of the festival. Yeah, for sure. So let's talk a little bit about Robert Lepage. Obviously, a huge name in terms of theater and direction, but also acting. So he's going to premiere a new production. It's called 887, and it's a journey, as, they, as he says, into the realm of memory. It's kind of cool because he's obsessed with the idea that why do we remember a phone number from when we were a kid, you know, childhood, but we can't even remember any number that people give us nowadays. It's, it's also the idea that why do I remember something a certain way, and you have a totally different recollection of it. So he's fascinated by these concepts. He's put this into a new production and it will be traveling outside of Toronto so other people can see it afterwards. We had a chance to catch up with Mr. Robert Lepage and here's what he had to say. Uh, it's about memory. It's about my youth. It's about uh, how uh, an eight-year-old or nine-year-old kid uh, perceives uh, social changes and context and uh, so, so it's it, but, but it's a very very playful very playful show. So a lot of these productions, they don't necessarily have to do with sports. They can be anything that inspires the artists, but it happens to be around the same time as the Pan Am Games. People like Edward Bertinsky, also Crystal Pite, Sandra Seamus, they're all going to be putting it out new work. So it is very exciting, and it's great for everyone across the country, too. So that's the, the Panamania, they call it. 767 <gasps> that was a phone number from when I was a kid. You're right. Just like that. 741-6500. <laughs> Thanks a lot, y'all. See you soon.